almost that time, man. Football's in the air. It's getting close. I've been, uh, I hope these videos have been helping you. Uh, they've been helping me, so I want to go ahead and hit quarters today. And it, it might be a while uh, for the next one, but, but uh, I wanted to get through this coverage because I think quarters is the toughest coverage. Uh, I know when I'm on defense, I, I'm a quarters guy. I love the way the safeties fit the run. I love the flexibility. You know, when they're sitting up here in, in a, in a, in a two-man or a, a two-high shell, well, what are they playing? Are they playing quarters, palms, quarter-quarter uh, uh, halves? Are they playing hard corners for two? Uh, there's just a, are they getting ready to spin, spin down and go to a three? So there's just so much flexibility in, in the quarters coverage. And, and, uh, and the truth is, I just really love the way the safeties fit into the run game. I, I feel like it gives you, uh, you know, a, a nine-man nine box. So uh, let's get into it. Here, here's some thoughts on it, uh, and be prepared. When you, you look out there and you see a team playing quarters, you know this is where you're going to have to make your money. But it's going to be a chess match. It's going to be tough. All right, so number one, cover four equals zone equals windows, and that equals routes on air and noose. It's the same thing we talked about with cover three. If they're playing zone, they're fitting into our base rules uh, or our base drills, the things that we practice all the time. We teach kids how to find grass, how to sit down in windows. They're playing zone. They're playing into our strength, or it should be. Uh, number two, know the weak spot. So here's a... Uh, Here's a typical quarters look, and I just put the circles where the obvious weaknesses are. They got an obvious weakness in, you know, a 10, 12 yard out. They got obvious, uh, obvious weaknesses in the uh, underneath coverage, whether you're talking about, I don't know what you call these, hook curl type areas, uh, and the deep middle is, is a problem. Uh, also, I, I don't know, you know, depending on how they're playing their cushion, that uh, maybe not immediately, but, but as soon as the ball gets snapped, they'll have the problems in the flats because you're taking that corner, you're taking that corner to protect over the top. So when I'm playing defense, you know, I'm, I'm usually playing real quarters because my idea is stop the deep pass. If, you know, support to stop the run, stop the deep pass, we can tackle everything else. So, but I know not everyone plays it that way, but if this guy starts taking his, his fourth, well then you can shoot someone into the flats for an easy throw. So know where the weaknesses are and know that these flats aren't necessarily weak right now, but they're gonna be once the ball gets snapped. So maybe they got this guy walked up and, and the quick screens aren't the easiest right out the gate, but once you run this guy off, a shoot route over here or a swing over there, all of a sudden becomes a, a real easy completion. Uh, number three, and I, I already alluded to this, it's going to be a chess match, and that means your play calling, and that means the quarterback being disciplined on his progression is going to be the difference between winning and losing. You're going to have to constantly see how they're adjusting and, and, uh, and then take advantage of it. So it's the night that the play caller makes his money, and it's the night that the quarterback coach and the quarterback make their money because they have to be disciplined on that progression because, you know, the way, this is how I tell my quarterback. Chicks are different, meaning just because it was one, it was that way last play doesn't mean it's going to be that way this play. You know that they can they can adjust. They can play quarter quarter house this play. The next play they're playing palms. They're playing two read. They're playing it. You know they could be playing anything just because they're lined up this way doesn't mean they're playing it that way. And then that leads to number four is check your cushion for easy throws. Are they sitting back there at seven and, and hitting a back pedal? Are they up here at four and buzzing out? Are they at five and flat footing? You know, how are they playing? You've got to check the cushions to know exactly what the gimmies are. And then you got to check the box. So this one, I tried to draw it up like this was, you know, the, these uh, walk players are, are hanging right off, trying to be halfway player, trying to hang off and really be a part of the box for run. But, you know, easily, they could be head up out here and you could have a five-man box. Well, five-man box, we're fixing to go, you know. We're fixing to run the ball. Uh, it could be two in the box and the walk player out to the wide side of the field. I've seen that a lot where they'll always have, they'll have six in the box, but they'll have the walk player to the wide side. So, you know, they're weak to the, to the boundary and six-man box, we should be able to run it. But if they're sitting here tight, and they're saying, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna halfway this thing, but we're really a run player. We're really wanting to get a piece of this run, but we're really like 
working these uh, ends inside and telling them they don't have contain them and the walk players are going to take contain, well, that's a seven-man box, and that's hard That's hard to run against. So you've got to constantly check the box, and again, chicks are different. Just because it's a seven-man box this time, it might be a six-man or a five-man box the next play. And then number six is use trips. Heck, let's see what they're going to do. Let, let's, let's go trips, see if they're going to stay like this. If they, if they stay too high, I think we got an advantage on trips. If they, if they check three, well, then we're back to the covers that we love. You know, so play trips and let's see how they make the adjustment. All right, so that's, uh, so that's the thoughts. And then I got five plays that I think are, uh, you know, I, I really like versus quarters. Uh, doesn't mean it's always easy, but I think it should, should be there. Uh, first one, my favorite play, seven and nine. Uh, again, let, let, let's see how they play. So seven and nine, we've got the slant, we've got the shoot. Well, we've already said, this guy should give us enough cushion that a shoot should be a gimme. That should be an easy access throw. And then how's this walk player gonna play this thing? Is he gonna is he gonna buzz hard? Are we gonna hit the second window? Are we gonna have an easy first window? You know, they they don't have enough underneath coverage to really stop us. You know, is this, is this guy gonna gonna chase more than he should and set up the wheel later? We we gotta you know it's a chess match. We gotta see, but we know underneath wise. They don't have enough guys at the snap to stop the, uh, the, the quick game, especially once you're teaching your guys to sit in the window. So 79 I love, and especially watching him to see if he gets nosy in there. And again, if you watch the 79 video, watching these guys, eventually they're going to start getting nosy because there's just not enough underneath coverage to stop the slant shoe combination. All right, next one is hitches and sticks. Uh, we talked about that versus cover three. We'll do it on this side. my book, they don't have enough guys to stop hitches in this one. You know, if, if, if he's trying to buzz out and this guy's having to fly over, I, I, think, you get, I think you get anything you want on, on hitches and sticks. And remember for us, on the back side of our sticks, we're always running double hitches. So uh, no matter how they do it, they, you know, they just don't have enough underneath coverage for the quick game. And, uh, and I think that's where you're going to make your money early. Uh, next one. And, and that's for us, that's stick, and then we also have some calls where we actually throw the hitch, and that's our, uh, I put it on a video, the hitch boot series that we run, which we really like because we get the quarterback out on the edge. The next one that I think really looks good against all quarters type coverage is Y cross 95. And for us, it would look like this. He would be on the 10 yard out. He would be trying to work under the first, over the second, working across, and he would be on the curl, he would be on a check swing. Typically versus quarters, this out is a gimme, and that's our number one read. Uh, if they're, they're messing around and he's coming off and taking it, the corner's coming off and taking it, then they still run into this problem of, now the safety has to be going with that one, He's probably working the wall, this guy. There should be a hole right here. And, you know, that one that we talked about before, once he stacks this guy, that throw it into the hole, it's fixing to be open. You know, you, if, once he gets on top of the mic, just throw the, throw the hole and let him run and catch it. And then this backside, same situation. Uh, you got a curl, you got a curl flat combination. How are they going to play that? They got issues right there. So 95, particularly with this easy, this this uh, that turns into a 10 yard speed cut out. Uh, we do it on steps, but it turns into an out. That's good versus almost any cover uh, cover four. But whether they're pattern reading, playing palms, uh, no matter what they're doing, this is normally a really good play. Uh, next one is four verts and. Uh, Four birds, not the typical way that you're thinking. You know, when we teach it, we teach uh, roof or no roof. So when we look up there and see two safeties, we're telling our guys that's a roof, so they know they're not going to continue deep. So X would take the outside release. Z would take the outside release. Now H is working around the the, uh, the the walk player, but he knows since he's got a roof that he's working for a curl. And then the Y is working around. He can curl it, or he can take a shot at that middle right there, which is we already said is one of the weak spots in, in quarters. So uh, I think 96 is a, is a great play versus quarters. 
but just know that you're going to be working the inside guys, uh, and there and typically it's going to be a lot of these kind of catches right here. You know, you'll you'll get this one every now and then, but typically nice, good 10, 10, 12 yard catches over and over just because they're they're having struggle. You know, think about it. Mike are typically open towards the the running back. So there's a huge window right here, and you got guys playing zone underneath. So uh, good play if you're patient enough to work the inside guys on four vert. Also, that little deal we talked about in cover three, where the quarterback can just check the speed cut out, and that should be a gimme versus jet. You know, almost the same as cover three. If he if he's taking off with the uh, vertical, who who's got that? Who's got the flat? You know, they're they're they got issues in the flats once the ball snaps. Uh, next one, we like the sprint game. I know not every, not all air raid guys run the sprints, but uh, you know because of our personnel this year, sprints are going to be uh, pretty important to us. And we just run a simple one. If they're sitting in, if they're sitting in the quarters look, we run him on an outside hitch. We run him on a six, six step corner. So you got a smash concept right here. We got him on the wide cross. He's coming out the ceiling, and the quarterback's on the edge. And we read this thing one to two. Quarterback run is three, and the cross is four. And then we got a box call right here later on if, if they get uh, funky with the safety. So we feel like if it's quarters, he's dropping. This is a gimme every single time. This walk player is not going to be able to get out there to stop it. If he jumps it, well, then you got the corner route. So it's just a plain old smash concept. Then they got to decide, well, how's this walk going to play? You know, is he going to, number one, we got an extra guy for him, but is he going to force it or are they trying to make Mike force it? Well, you probably got a pretty good run if you got an athletic quarterback. And then after all that, you still got this guy almost like a waggle, uh, that tight end on the waggle coming across. You got this guy coming across, getting into the picture, and it's usually an easy throw for the quarterback. So th those are the, uh, the five plays that I really like versus quarters. But again, I think it comes back to this. Just know when you see quarters out there, that, that's going to be the night you got to earn your money. You know, play calling and quarterback progressions are going to be gigantic. You know, you, you're going to have to play chess because this, this uh, coverage gives them so much flexibility. And remember, chicks are different. Just because they did it that way the uh, one play doesn't mean they got to do that way the next play. You know, they got a lot of options just like we always have a lot of options. All right, coaches, hope everyone has a great season. Uh, I'll, I'll try to throw a couple more videos out, but you know how it's going to get. Today's our first day of mandatories, and it's, it's fixing to be on. So it's the most wonderful time of the year, and I know you're excited about it too. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, check the thumbs up, ch uh, thumbs down, and uh, leave a comment. I uh, appreciate all you guys that gave me the, uh, the ideas for videos. I've really run out of stuff. And, uh, and you gave me a bunch of good ones. Plus, I, I still haven't gotten the one out. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll try to get someone asked for a, a, a video on the play sheet. I'll try to get that done uh, before we get going. All right, coaches. Thank you, man.